Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Jimmy Smith. Uh, I'm here with my daughter Hannah on another episode of the uh, Latter-day Saint Mission Prep podcast. Um, today we are uh, talking with Hannah um, about um, her home MTC experience. So uh, Hannah has been uh, doing home MTC for the past two weeks and um, two days from now, she is flying to Provo for four more weeks of MTC training. Um, so um, uh, welcome, Hannah. Welcome all uh, viewers and listeners. And uh, uh, let's jump in. Um, uh, I guess just a brief background. If you haven't seen part one and part two, uh, this is part three. Uh, but if you haven't seen the others, go back and watch the others. In the first time I interviewed Hannah, I talked uh, Sister Smith, I guess I should be calling you now. You're an officially set apart missionary. <laughs> uh, the part one, we talked about uh, the mission application process and paperwork and the medical stuff and talking to your bishop and state president and getting it all applied and sent to the church. Uh, part two, we talked about, um, what did we talk about? <laughs> Getting ready to go. Like going to the temple. Going to the temple. Uh, um, I think opening my mission opening call. the mission call. We talked about that. Oh, like applying for a visa and a passport. Oh, yeah. uh, maybe your mission prep class taking them that. Uh, anyway, part two was it was really good. Now, okay, so uh, now here we are. Uh, part three. We're going to talk about uh, primarily about home MTC and a few other topics about maybe packing and getting ready to go, and. Um, you know, in, anything else, your experiences uh, uh, getting set apart as a missionary, your farewell talk, uh, we can hit on on all those things that have happened roughly in the last month. Um, so, in fact, why don't we do take it chronologically there? So, um, about, I guess, was it two weeks ago today you had your farewell talk? Yeah. So, two weeks ago, farewell talk. So, we're recording this on a Sunday uh in august and so two weeks ago you had a farewell talk uh, at and sacrament meeting and then that night set apart by the state president so why don't you talk about uh about those anything that stands out yeah in those experiences um i don't know giving my talk was was good mm -hmm. um they like assigned me a topic to speak on but i don't really know <laughs> if i really spoke about it i just talked about like I don't know. I talked a lot about I don't know, the the willingness it takes to go on a mission and to like just serve the Lord in general. But um, I don't know. I thought that it went good. Yeah. We, me and my brother that's just younger than me, uh, we did a musical number together as well. Mm -hmm. So that was really good. Yeah, that turned out really nice. Mm -hmm. um, Hannah plays the piano very well. Her younger brother, Abe, uh, plays the trumpet in, in yeah. the band and, and is very good as well. Um, I had never heard a trumpet played in sacred meeting yeah. before. <laughs> so I was surprised. I was surprised that you asked the bishop because I don't know that I would have dared to oh, ask. Yeah. The bishop, if <laughs> Hannah asked the bishop if Abe could play his trumpet in sacred meeting and he said yes, as long as it was reverent and as long as it was a hymn. Uh, yeah. And so uh, I, I thought it sounded excellent. I thought it was very reverent and very appropriate for sacrament meeting. It's uh, fun. And yeah, and I was as as a someone in the audience sitting there. In fact, I, I was very proud. Um, proud isn't the right word. Pleased uh, to see my daughter and my son up there. Uh, it made me feel like maybe I'd done a semi good job as a parent. <laughs> Uh, to see Hannah giving her a mission farewell talk and Abe up there playing as well. Uh, anyway, it was it was it was good to see. It brought warm feelings to my heart. To quote, oh, Yoda. No. <laughs> quoting Yoda, are we? <laughs> All right. So so uh, we also had an open house for you. Maybe briefly talk about that. We we that was. The week after, but yeah, the week after. We used to talk about a lot that. of people will do that on the same day as the mission farewell. Mm -hmm. We didn't have it coordinated, but yeah, the yeah. next week, since you were doing home MTC for two weeks, we did an open house and invited people from the ward over. Anything yeah. you want to say about that? Um, I don't know. It was we just had like a little bit of food. I just talked to some people. Yeah. Mostly everyone just just giving me like advice about when they went on a mission, <laughs> like oh do this. 
with your companion, be mm-hmm. nice and good luck and just asking me all these questions about yeah. NPC and stuff. But it was it was really fun to talk to everyone. Great. So, yeah, it went really good. Great, great, great. Okay, so um, the night of your mission farewell two weeks ago, we went to the state center and met mm-hmm. with our state president uh, to get you set apart as a missionary. So tell us a little bit about that experience. Um, well, I guess right beforehand, I was trying to figure out like, it's like, okay, well, I guess when I get back home after I'm set apart, like, I've got to like live all the missionary standards, which is a little weird. So I, I like deleted all my like social medias and like was texting bye to all my friends. So that was like very weird, sad moment. Um, good, obviously, but just like very, very weird. But um, especially because they're not, they weren't very specific to me. Like, I don't know what I could and couldn't do with like phones at home MTC, which is kind of weird, but that's not the, that's not the main mm-hmm. deal, but that it was a little weird. Um, yeah, anyways, we drove to the church. Our whole family went, um, met with, it was just our family and the state president. And we sat down, had a little, chat super short i was crying my eyes out i cried i was just crying the whole like car ride and like crying all right before i think just like all the emotions like kind of finally hit me about like i don't know just it was saying, real it was real like this was it yeah like is this is last- the end of my like pre-mission life of my like your normal social <laughs> yeah civilian life so i don't know it was definitely emotional i was just like am i really doing this oh my gosh what am i getting myself into just like questioning like mm-hmm. is this even right even though like obviously it's been like very exciting and it's something i know i need to be doing i just feel like every step of the way i'm like is this, am i really supposed to be doing this yeah well, but, and I think that because your sister, you have a little more of those emotions because yeah. you don't have to do it. It's a choice. And I thought yeah. it was so interesting when you sat down in the chair with the state president behind you. He asked, are you ready? <laughs> and he was he he wasn't about to lay his hands on his he- your head. He said, so your and so you said, yes, I'm ready. And I like sat there. I was like, oh, I don't know. And I cried for a second. <laughs> and then he was like, OK, are you ready now? I was like, yep. So did it um the setting part was good um i wish i had wrote down like right immediately after the stuff he had said i wrote about it that night um but i kind of like it was all like jumbled in my head what he had said (laughs) but lots of just like i don't know really good things comforting things like yeah that mission is a good thing yeah even though it's a hard thing so that was great and then yeah we took a picture. Well, I put my name tag on. That was fun. Um, couldn't figure out how to do it on straight. I'm getting better. It's getting <laughs> easier. So. Yeah. Well, they have these little magnet things yeah, now. They didn't have those weird. when I was a missionary. For the video it's a, people. It's a pen. It's like a little magnet. Yeah. So I just like stick it in. Yeah. You are getting to be I'm a pro. Getting better. Yeah. But. Well, well, I remember as as we were driving away from the stake center, like a a weight coming over me, but not not a not a heavy or burdensome weight, but like a responsibility and a blessing that we have a, a full time missionary in our house now, I mean, in our car and in our home, and and you've been in our home for two weeks now doing home MTC, but I just like I knew as a as a parent and as a family we needed to you know make sure that we took care of one of the yeah. lord's missionaries in our home and we need to make sure it was a good environment and um and and so i, I really felt that as as we were driving away um one other thing that i should say i was impressed with you from the beginning and that that it, we never even really talked about it was like like you said that when, when you're set apart as a missionary by a state president you need to start going by the mission rules right mm-hmm. right then and there and i've been very impressed with how uh, obedient you have been uh, in keeping the mission rules and l- learning and knowing what the mission rules are and following them. And to me, again, that brings warm feelings to my heart because 
I know missionaries who are obedient to the mission rules are going to more likely to have the spirit of the Lord with them and are going to be more um, safe and successful um, in their missionary efforts. So that's been really good to see. Thanks. <laughs> OK, so uh, then uh, the next day you started uh, home MTC and have been doing that for the past two weeks. So yeah. Um, Talk to us about the home MTC. What have you liked about it? What have you not liked? What's been fun? What's been difficult? <laughs> what, what's the schedule like? Uh, and all Everything. Those. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so my first day at home MTC was my P day, actually. So that was kind of really weird. Um, I had like one large group meeting on Zoom and then I had my evening class. But besides that, I had a free day and I wasn't really sure what to do yet So I like had been given no instruction about what to do. Um, but evening class is that's from 7 to 10 p.m. It's a yeah, three-hour evening so, class. Yeah, so every day, I guess after that Monday, um, we have a three-hour class in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, so I had it from like 9.30 to 12.30 because um, I'm Texas time. And then we the, the first week of Home MTC, um, I had two weeks because I'm learning language. The first week we had like an hour, they called it a large group meeting with like 500 missionaries. So it was everyone who started that same day that I did, we would all hop on the Zoom and have meetings at the same time. The first one was like a welcome to the work kind of one. They had one about like mental health resources and like just learning to adjust. They had one about like learning a language, like gift of tongues kind of thing. Um, like a teaching one anyways. Um, so those were always fun because got to see like my friends who started mission the same week I did on there. Um, but yeah, so we had so we had three hour class. We had our one hour Zoom meeting of, at, with everyone and then we had a three hour class in the evening. Um, also, so that was from like seven to ten. Oh, and we also have um, an hour of language tutoring every day. And then in between all of that um, was just fitting in an hour of personal study, um, hour of language study, and then a 30 minute companion study and 15 minute planning with my companion. Um, so my companion study was done all on Zoom and stuff because my companion lives in Oklahoma, so. Yeah, so most yeah most of the missionaries in your district and there's like 12 or 14 in your district we, yeah we have 14 in our so district 14 all learning portuguese but going mm -hmm. some to brazil some to us some to portugal yeah. mostly elders are you the only two sisters so we have 10 elders four sisters okay. all four of the sisters are going to portugal mm -hmm. um four of the elders are going to portugal and then two elders are going to orlando two are going to boston and two are brazil portugal like mm -hmm. They were supposed to go to the Brazil MTC, but it got changed for some reason. So now they're in our district, mm. which is cool. But yeah, so 10 elders, four sisters, we're all pretty spread out. I mean, majority going to Portugal, right. but and, yeah. Um, so yeah, you said you, you're you in Texas, mm -hmm. your companions uh, to be from Oklahoma. The the MTC mm -hmm. teachers who lead the discussions and so are forth, all in Provo. they're in the Provo MTC or, or at their homes in Provo. Yeah. And most of the missionaries are, are like 50% or more are in, are in Utah. Utah. So most of the meetings are Utah time. So I know I told Hannah that I, I thought it was fine if she did uh, go to bed at 1130 and get up at 730 because oh, that yeah. that's 630 to 10:30 Utah yeah. time, and every, most of everybody else is on Utah time. So I thought it'd be fine for her. Yeah. Is that what you've ended up? That's doing? what I've. That's what I've done. And yeah. my companion, I think, did the same thing. Yeah. I think ish. She yeah. might have done like seven and ten. Yeah. Or seven and eleven. But yeah. it's hard because like our class ends at ten. Yeah. And so it's like we would only have thirty minutes to like yeah, get ready unwind and, and get go to bed ready. and write in your journal. And all the Utah people have all an people, hour. Yeah. 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 So and then plus like in the morning I don't. I didn't know what I would have done if I had had that much time in the morning. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Because um, I do my like personal study before my class and eat breakfast and get ready and stuff. Yeah, you would have had an extra hour in the morning to kill before. Yeah. Else. So yeah. it just it made it's made sense. Plus, then like when I get to Utah, like I'm already like adjusted to that same schedule. Yeah. So 
Um, but yeah, the classes, so all of our like long classes and our like daily tutoring was just with our district. Um, and then like a teacher, but and right now, or I guess the past two weeks, it's been all in English, um, except for our like language tutoring. The one hour language but tutoring yeah. during the day. But all uh, like the three hour classes, two, three hour classes are all in English. And so once we get to Provo and get started, everything is in Portuguese. And the teachers have heavily emphasized that they will not be speaking to us at all in English. So it's uh it's a big jump. Baptism by immersion in, in the Portuguese language. Yep. Yeah. So I learned Spanish at the MTC and that was and I was there for nine weeks and yeah. now you're just doing six weeks, two at home and four at the program yeah. MTC. So yeah, it makes sense. You got to immerse them right away. And that is the best way to, to learn a language. It's yeah, just they said it's something. like super successful. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm trying to think what else about home MTC. It's, it's a lot of Zoom. It's gotten really tiring. Towards the end of last week, we were just, we were all so done. Everyone in our district, we're just tired of Zoom yeah. and like ready to meet each other. That's another thing, like, Something really positive about Home MTC, like that I'm really glad about, is getting to like know my district and my companion before I meet them in person. Mm -hmm. Because now I'm like super excited to meet them and I'm not just going to Provo like not knowing anybody and yeah. being like scared and nervous. Like I know when I get there, there's gonna be a bunch of people who are like we're all excited to see each other. Yeah, the Provo MTC president tonight in the fireside for families said that's what missionaries typically do now as soon as they get to the mtc they're looking for their yeah. companion and their district who they met originally yeah. at home mtc and he said it's been a great thing to see yeah uh so yeah that is that that's a good part of the home mtc i know the first couple of days you just had a hard like kitchen chair and then yeah. after a couple of days we're like oh let's we're get like, you <laughs> dad's good the fancy chair. Uh, desk chair that's more comfortable yeah. better back support and stuff so we switched that. So uh, yeah, a tip for everyone out there. Get a good chair. Get, get a good chair because you're going to be sitting in it a, a long time. For a long time. Um, and uh, you said some missionaries did it on their phone. Most had a laptop and a laptop we had, probably better. Yeah, we had one elder do it on his phone every time. But yeah, I would suggest a laptop. Yeah, yeah I, laptop for sure. Yeah. So I'm trying to think what else. Um, the first, I will say the first like, few days were just super like weird because I was like I and I guess like home MTC in general is weird because you don't feel really like a missionary mm -hmm. like I don't know I come downstairs during my break and like the kids are watching Lego Ninjago or like they're out swimming and I'm just like here and it's hard it was hard it's been hard for me to like stay motivated to like take the time to do my language study and my personal study just because I'm like oh well I could be spending this time like with my family before I go so it's weird because I'm like, I'm with my family, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm glad I'm here to do it. But it's it's like really difficult to like get into it. So yeah. that's one thing I'm like looking forward to going to Provo yeah. for is just to like really immerse myself in it. Yeah. So um, talk to me a little bit about uh, the technology. You use Zoom for online mm -hmm. uh, video conferencing and there's a chat feature in your Zoom calls and you guys make use of that yeah. a lot. But you've also talked to me a lot about chatting within <laughs> Facebook. And I know you've done some Facebook posts like as a missionary. So yes. just talk to me about those things maybe a little. Yeah. So our teachers, I think like the first day of classes were like, someone needs to make a Facebook Messenger group chat with everyone in it mm -hmm. um, so you guys can like talk to each other. I think it's more of like a bonding thing mm -hmm. than anything because they, I mean, they have email to get contact with us. Mm -hmm. So my companion made a group chat. It had our teachers in it though. Mm -hmm. And we quickly realized that they probably had the chat muted and were <laughs> irritated by us goofing off. So we made a separate one um, mm -hmm. just for all the, the district. And then like we have like a sister sisters group chat that I know the elders have their chat who knows what goes on in there <laughs> but it's I don't know it's been super fun just to like I don't know that's our only source of entertainment is yeah. each other and the young elders are very entertaining yeah we love them dearly <laughs> but, uh, yeah yeah because elders are in on average, a year younger yeah. than the sisters. Uh, so. Yeah, there's only one elder in our district who did like a year of college before. The rest are all like straight out of high school. Yeah. And then three out of four of the sisters 
did school before did and one of them college. just did like a took a gap year so but yeah it's kind of funny they're all like college people are so old and we're like yeah <laughs> we're old all, this, all the sisters are yeah. but the elders are fun they bring good energy for sure but yeah. Yeah, so we we keep in contact with Facebook Messenger. That's super fun. And then the Facebook posts. Um, I know something that they offer throughout the whole MTC is like workshops. And so my companion and I signed up for a social media, like posting social media oh, workshop. Cool. That's great. Um, they have all sorts of cool workshops. So to do. so MTC's teachers teaching you well. What's the appropriate thing to post on Facebook? Yeah. And how to respond to people or? Yeah. So in one of just our regular classes, that was when we first talked about Facebook because mm -hmm. we were just talking about technology in general, and then we went into the details of like when we post, what it should look like, mm -hmm. and then like we also talked about how to respond to people on Facebook. Um, but yeah. I guess they they told us when we're posting on Facebook they the use a visual keep it brief and if you're posting just make sure you're like staying in line with your missionary purpose so basically like if you're going to another country don't make it look like you're just traveling like vacationing vacationing yeah, yeah. so like if you're gonna post a picture like relate to the gospel and okay. so I know a lot of missionaries will do like little analogies like. One of my good friends is in Scotland right now and she visited like a castle and she had these this picture in front of like prison bars and she was like, sometimes Satan <laughs> imprisons us. It, yeah, so imprisons us, but yeah. yeah. So they're like, use visual, be brief. Um, and they always like want you to make an invitation or like a little like thing great. at the end. Good. Good um, yeah. So that's super great. And then another thing I just thought of mm -hmm. when I was talking about the workshops was during home MTC and also regular MTC, mm -hmm. they have you sign up for these things called helping others, um, which is just basically teaching practice lessons oh, yeah. to people good. who are actors. So yeah. there are people that the MTC hires to pretend to not be members of the church so that we can practice teaching to them. So my companion and I have done, I think three of them. They were all on Zoom um in english and they're like 30 minute lessons mm -hmm. so our first two we taught like the first lesson which is the restoration then we mm -hmm. taught plan of salvation mm -hmm. so a lot of what we do in our classes is just like teaching us how to do that mm -hmm. like how to start a lesson like how to like talk to someone get to know them so it's not just awkward and you don't just like jump right into it um and then like lots of like how do you ask questions and like What's the best way to phrase this? And like teaching you that you don't have to teach the entire lesson in one sitting. You can break it up if you want to. But those, I'm always, I always get really stressed right before them. But usually during them, it's like pretty chill. Our first one was super scary. She was tough. And the lady was super intense. Bless her. Um, <laughs> but she was intense. She like, I don't know. We we have to do these surveys after to like. We, me and my companion will fill out like how we think it went from their perspective, like how we think they would have thought it went. Mm -hmm. And then we get to compare it to how they actually thought it went. Mm -hmm. We get feedback after we fill it out. And it actually went a lot better than we thought it did. Oh. So that was good. And then they've just progressively been getting better. Our plan of salvation one, I think, went really awesome. So, good. yeah, That's it's good. it's really interesting to learn how to teach like with two people. Mm -hmm. Um, just because, like, I think my companion and I have, like, kind of different, like, teaching styles, mm -hmm. like, ways of explaining things and, like, structuring things. Um, yeah. But she's, oh, sorry. She's, she's like, super spiritual. And, like, I think as long as you're both, I don't know, in tune with the spirit, yeah, it will be good. And I think also once we get in person, it'll be a lot easier to, like, bounce back and forth. Well, because on Zoom, there's no, like, you can't give each other a little cue except for, like, Sister to Gaston, what do you have to say about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, when 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 yeah, you're in person or together, you'll be planning lessons together, and yeah. you'll say, why don't you teach this principle, then I'll teach this principle, and then it's easier to do the handoff, or like like you said, when you're not in a a, a digital online forum, and you're like, you, it's just easier to get yeah these non-verbal cues. Okay, you take it away, sister. Yep. Uh, uh, so yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. And then once we get in person in Provo, it will be in person in Portuguese. And they'll be like, I think we start with 15 minute ones and then it jumps back to 30 minutes. Wow. 
Sounds so, like they do that a lot more than when I did the MTC. I remember doing it once, maybe twice in nine yeah. weeks. So they want you sounds to do like it they're doing that like a lot more. At least week. once a week. Okay, that's great. So I mean, good maybe. practice, super stressful, Yeah. but very good, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, anything else to say about the online MTC? I also want to talk briefly about your packing, your luggage you got up, up in, in our, our Playroom, your luggage uh, spread out, and you're going to be packing that. So I want you to talk mm -hmm. about that. But before we move on to that, and 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 we'll wrap up pretty quickly after that. Anything else about the home MTC experience that uh, others might be interested to know? Um, we pretty much I, it. Of, I would definitely say though, like it, it's going to feel weird at first, but just try to embrace it and put your heart into it because it is what you make it for home MTC. Yeah. You're not with the people in person. Um, I don't know, It can. it's a lot easier to get distracted. Yeah. So it is what you make it. How I will say I am usually terrible at staying focused mm -hmm. like over long periods of time. And I think a blessing that I've had is like being able to actually stay focused and engaged like pretty well, um, especially those like long classes. It's, I mean, granted our teachers are super awesome, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I would definitely say like, I've been blessed with an enhanced ability to focus because yeah. that's not something I'm usually well, good at. That's, that must be one of the gifts of this period. I don't, I don't know that that's listed anywhere, mm -hmm. but there, it does say in the scriptures, that there are many other gifts of the yeah. spirit that, that aren't listed. And one of those maybe is to help you focus during mm -hmm. home MTC, yeah. so it's certainly a blessing so, from the Lord. Yeah. Uh, I should say from the family's perspective, oh, yeah. um, it, it's it's been good to have Hannah in the home. And I'm glad, like I said earlier, that you've taken it upon yourself to obey the mission rules, to you know always dress appropriately and, and, and listen to appropriate music and so forth. So, because if we as parents had to say, Hannah, stop doing X, Y, Z, I don't think that would go over very well. Yeah. So I'm glad you've uh, policed yourself there. Um, I think that's a sign of maturity and and and, and a blessing. Um, from from our perspective as a family, whenever you're on breaks or out, so I, out, I done you know not in your Zoom online meetings, uh, you know we've tried to turn off the TV or turn off worldly music and have have church music or, or yeah. other music we've tried um we've tried to have a good schedule for uh dinner like we're feeding the missionaries every night so you know we know hannah's schedule her class ends at 5 30 so you know we need to have dinner between 5 30 and 6 30 or 7 and so we've been better as a family at planning meals and having it on time just to so everything goes smoothly with hannah so she can come eat and then go back uh, and the same with uh, lunches, I guess you're a little more on your own. Yeah. <laughs> Leftovers or whatever. Mom's but. been really good, though. Like, if she's sensing I need to get out of the house mm -hmm. because I've been locked up in a closet for mm -hmm. eight days, mm -hmm. she'll be like, let's go, like, get lunch or something. I'm like, thank you. Yeah. Get me out of here. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's yeah. good. We have gone to the park a few times, mm -hmm. and Hannah is in a closet, but it's a big closet. It has oh, a yeah. window and a big desk. Disclaimer. We did our last podcast. Where she's not Harry Potter. No, uh, it's got a window. It's got air conditioning. <laughs> it's giant. I think my district thinks I'm rich because I told them I have a big closet, <laughs> and this I was sitting in the closet. They're like, what? I'm like, we live in Texas. The market's crazy. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I will say, though, I have been really, like, there's any like parents watching or I don't know mm -hmm. I would just say like yeah. I'm super like grateful every time like you like ask me about how it's going and stuff well but, like you want to talk to me about it because I mean there's like as to who I talk to yeah and so it's like really fun that like you get excited for me about yeah. it and I've been really grateful for that just well because it's like it makes it more fun to talk about it yeah, well, good. I have made that effort. I I go to bed really early. You know, I'm usually going to bed around 10 o'clock when she's finishing. So I've made an extra effort to stay up a little late. So as soon as she gets out of her class, I can ask her what she's learning and how it's going and so forth and, and have those good uh, conversations. I appreciated it. Great. Um, all right. Let's wrap this up then with a little discussion of packing 
and and then and then uh two days from now we're, we're taking you to the airport and and, mm-hmm. and saying saying goodbyes to the family for a year and a half so talk to, tell us about any final things we haven't talked about in terms of what you're buying your suitcases packing and trying to fit everything you need for 18 months into you know two big suitcases and a small carry-on yeah um i don't i don't know it's uh oh. It's a lot. I haven't actually finished packing yet. We barely started. Yeah. So I don't know I, I, how that's going to yeah, go. I, I'm anticipating we're going to have to um, uh, consolidate. Yeah, I was going to say we're, we're going to have to have a priority list because I don't think everything's going to make the cut into the suitcase because yeah. everything you bought, uh, you and mom, and uh, I don't know that it's going to fit. We, I don't either. So, so uh, anyway, maybe we'll maybe a- after Tuesday would be better to talk to you, but I don't think we'll be able to do this once once you leave. So, uh, but um, anyway, it's 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 I guess a challenge for all missionaries. I've seen videos yeah. out there about how to fit everything in. I mean, the church gives you a list of things you need. Yeah, so, they do. So just follow that, I guess. And, yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, I will say like. I know me and the other sisters, we're like, how many clothes are you bringing in this? Because the church says to bring like eight outfits or something. Mm -hmm. And we're like, outfits. Because, I mean, I guess elders like get no variety. They get ties. But they don't really, I feel like they don't care as much. Maybe I'm gentle. I I didn't. I don't know. (laughs) But like, I definitely have more than eight outfits and a decent amount of shoes. Well, so, but I'm in a walking mission, so I kind of had to get lots of good shoes. And uh, with the, mom used some term I had never heard before, where you like get a bunch of different shirts and skirts that match and coordinate. Mm-hmm. What did she call that? I don't remember. I didn't know it had a name. Oh, uh, anyway. But to get to anyway to address your to point, get of getting that variety. Yeah. So I have lots of pants and shirts and yeah. skirts, different combos. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's don't procrastinate packing. Is that that's good advice? <laughs> yeah. I, I I'm also the hard thing is I'm packing up my non mission stuff at the same time. Anything she's, from college. She's packing up her room so we can because yeah. we have lots of kids and there's yeah. enough. <laughs> no, I'll be gone for use, a while. So. Wants to use her room while she's gone. So that's okay. Uh yeah. So don't procrastinate. Uh, I, I think you get that suitcase packed as early as possible so you can see what's going to fit, what's yeah. not going to fit, so you can weigh it because there's a certain weight, right? Yes. Like 50 pounds? It's like or, 50 pounds, yeah. yeah. And, and then, uh, you know, the airlines will charge you if it's over that, so you don't want to go over that. Yep. And and it, and they, the church gives you these dimensions. It's like 62 or 63 Inch it's, in. it's in the mission portal yeah. somewhere, I'm guessing. Okay. Oh, also heads up. Um, the stuff does go off of the mission portal. A lot of the checklists and stuff. They start after just you start home MTC. Yeah. Um so download so yeah. it before you start your yeah. MTC. It's I feel like as long as you download the big packet, mm-hmm. I think that's actually just everything. Yeah. Um, something else I just thought of is um if you're doing a phone, mm-hmm. like oh, if you're yeah, having talk a phone. About that. Um, I know for me, it's been a little like different than most missionaries I know, because I already have a Samsung phone, um, that works for a mission, um, because you have to have a Samsung and ask be like certain, Mm -hmm. has certain requirements. Mm -hmm. Um, so I know a lot of missionaries just like got their mission phone and like set it up so that they'll have it at the MTC. Mm -hmm. Um, I still haven't set mine up yet because I'm trying to get everything off of it, but you have to get it all set up. I think if, the, if you don't set it up before you get there, they make you set it up right when you get there. And, and that's basically just like you do like a factory reset. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Factory reset totally wipes yep. the phone. So it's starting from clean. So if you have like in your case, a bunch of pictures and yeah. text that you want to save, you're backing those up yep. because you you have to do that factory reset either here at home or as soon as you get to the MTC. Yeah. Because then the, the church, they, make you, they put some software on it yeah. so they can control 
so you can use church approved apps, but nothing else. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you they have you like sign in with your missionary email mm-hmm. and down certain stuff just automatically is like downloaded once you sign in with that. Mm-hmm. And then there's only like certain apps you can download. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. So okay. I guess cool. Yeah, I'm glad that's you the remembered. thing. You also have to, and I'm sure anyone who's doing MTC will be told this, but you have to do these like safeguard for technology little lesson things mm-hmm. before you're able to use your phone in the mission field. Mm-hmm. So you have to finish that before MTC. And I haven't started that, but I had four weeks. So, <laughs> so you'll do well, it while you're at the MTC? I'll do it while I'm there. Okay. Yes. Very good. Or tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. 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 Today's Sunday, tomorrow, Monday, you would typically have class, but they give it to you off because yes. everybody's traveling. Tuesday, you fly to uh, yep. to Salt Lake, and you're staying with a friend there. And then Wednesday's the day all the missionaries uh, go into the MTC at your appointed time. Mm-hmm. So that's it. That's your next couple of days. Yeah. Um, any any thoughts on your emotions, or better not go there? I know yeah. him. Like I'm not a, I'm not as emotional person in terms of uh, 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 teary and so forth. Hannah already shed some tears when she got set apart. I'm sure yeah. there'll be more tears shed when you say goodbye to mom and your brothers yeah. and sisters. And you. And and me, yeah. Uh, but I mean, I, I I shouldn't say I'm not emotional. I am emotional in terms. Of, I'm excited for you. I know it's going to be a great experience going on a mission. It's not I, sentimental, maybe. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, uh, when some people feel the Holy Ghost, they cry. When I feel the Holy Ghost, I'm happy mm-hmm. and I'm animated. And anyway, I'm excited for you. Um, I, I know you're going to be a great missionary. I know you're going to have a wonderful experience. It's going to be hard. Don't get me wrong. There will be days where it's going to be really hard, hard to be away from the family. Maybe you'll have difficult companions and uh, just maybe difficult just to, you know, keep, stay learning. motivated, learning a language. There, you're going you're gonna to have your fair share of challenges, but um you know you're going to persevere the lord will bless you and be with you you're going to do so much good you're going to plant seeds you're going to harvest some seeds hopefully and um you're you're going to be doing what the lord uh, wants you to do you're going to be building his kingdom you're going to be blessing people uh, in in ways that that will bless them here in this life and and in the eternities so that you know, in this life and in the next life, when when you meet those people that you influence on your mission, I know it's going to be a warm embrace and, and they're going to be so grateful for you sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. Uh, so anyway, I'm so I'm excited <laughs> for you for all those reasons. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's just that's a lot. Yeah, it's it's been good to kind of say goodbye to people in stages. Yeah, like when I left Provo, I said bye to all my like Provo people. Yeah. And then when I got set up, like right before I got set apart, I said bye to all my friends who don't live in Texas, mm-hmm. um, who I've just been keeping in touch with over text. And then there's been like some friends that are leaving for college or s- stuff. or just, yeah. So I've had to say bye to them before. And yeah. family's the last goodbye. So yeah. it's kind of super crazy. I've yeah. definitely already had some cries about it so yeah more crying to come but that's okay okay very good well this seems like a good place to stop um and uh we'll we'll yeah we'll just we'll just wrap it up there um thanks everybody for watching um uh i'm you know if if possible maybe i'll put some uh updates if anyone in the in the latter-day saint mission prep audience is interested i'll put some updates on on the website or or or, you know somewhere about how you're doing on your mission um and um yeah i guess that's it thanks everyone we'll uh we'll we'll talk to you again soon bye bye